Hey guys, uh, welcome to another night of, uh, of security here on YouTube. Um, today we're going to talk about the uh, Unify uh, decryption of the uh, Unify UNF file. Um, so it's been brought to my attention, I guess, numerous times at this point for various clients that needed access into this UNF file in order to see VLAN information or uh, route configurations or anything that has to do with a Unify backup. Um, these files are actually encrypted um, from the Unify controllers, uh, whether that's something that's set up for your WAPs, uh, a cloud key, your USG firewalls, or uh, Unify switches. Um, they all back up to a UNF file. Uh, that UNF file is accessible, um, but technically it's encrypted, so you're not able to see in it without decrypting it first. Unfortunately, um, there's no like super easy way to just decrypt it, um, I don't know if that's unfortunate or fortunate. <laughs> Realistically, uh, security by obscurity is not really security at all. Um, unfortunately, the or fortunately, I guess, again, depending on how you look at it, the decryption key is publicly available. Um, so what I'm going to do is walk you through specifically what you have to do in order to um, access the inside of your UNF file and view the data that exists in there. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, what you're going to want to do is get yourself a Ubuntu ISO file of 2204. Um, you're going to want to install it. It's easier if you install it so that we have this saved somewhere. Um, it'll run on VirtualBox or um, you could use Hypervisor if you're on a Windows environment or you could use you know, VMware Player, VMware Workstation or even ESXi if you have a full VM set up. Um, at any rate, uh, once you have it installed, you're going to run all the updates on it, make sure all the application's up to date. Um, you're going to want to download your UNF file to it. Um, and then you're going to want to go to these two websites, which I'll include the links inside the description. Um, specifically here, we'll look first at the um, decryption key. Um, if you're on 2204, you're going to want to grab from number seven down. Um, number one through seven, um, even though it's hashed out, it's not part of the, the thing. And it's, you know, uh, lots of respect to this guy for developing this or grabbing this key. but. Um, if you leave that value in there for whatever reason on 2204, it craps out and won't allow you to run it. So if you're going to grab this, grab it from 7 down, copy it, paste it into the, the text editor, and save it as decrypt.sh. If you're running 2004, um, you could grab the whole thing from 1 down, and it works fine. Uh, I don't know if there's a bug in Ubuntu or if there's a problem with how the script runs. I'm not really sure. I'm not a developer. I don't do coding inside of uh, Linux-based operating systems, so I couldn't really specifically tell you that. Um, but at any rate, grab 7 down, copy it, paste it, um, save it as decrypt.sh. Um, then you're going to want to go to the MongoDB um, website, and you're going to want to specifically look for the command line database tools. You're going to want to grab the platform that you're on. So if you're on 2204, just grab the x86-64 version. Um, if you're running ARM, grab the ARM version. If you're running any of the older stuff, that's fine. You could use Windows as well. Keep in mind that if you use the Windows one, um, it's a little finicky. There's a little more involvement. You'll have to probably go online to check how to do that. It doesn't work as well as and as easily as it does on Linux. Um, but then Unify is based on Linux, so that makes sense. So once you grab that, you'll download that. You click on that. It's going to give you the, uh, the TGZ package first. Choose Deb, download it. Once you have it downloaded, you can go over here uh, to wherever you have your download set. Right-click on the application. Choose open uh, with other application, choose a software installer, click select. Once you have that selected, it'll open up another window, click install, put your credentials on in it, and it'll install. It's 50 some odd megs, 52 megs, so it really should not take um, all that long to install or for that matter to download. Um, so I created a new folder, called it Ubiquity. It's a backup UNF, I got the decryption SH. I'm gonna open a terminal from this window. Um, so now we're in the actual folder. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to do sudo s. Um, put your credentials in. All right, so now we're uh, sudoed in. Uh, so basically, this just allows me to run the commands without having to do sudo on every single command or putting credentials in multiple times. Um, so now that we have this set, what we're going to do is we're going to decrypt the backup.unf file first. Um, in order to do that, um, we want to run uh, the package installer first. We're going to do sudo um, apt, or sorry, 
apt get install um, zip unzip if I can spell um, open SSL and hit enter um, this is just going to tell me that everything's already installed these I've done this obviously before on this machine um, after you do that what you're going to want to do is we're going to um, bash so bash decrypt dot sh um, and then we're going to do backup dot unf and we're going to extract that to backup dot zip and if you see up here this is creating the backup dot zip file from the uh, backup unf so now it's been converted to a zip file so the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to unzip backup.zip which is going to create a bunch of files up there um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to gun zip the um, db.gz file and that's going to create just a db file so that db file is where all your configuration sits um, that's going to contain all your MAC addresses, your host names, your system information, all of that stuff. But you still can't open it because at this point, um, we, it's still in the BSON format. So that's where we downloaded the Mon uh, MongoDB application tools. So we're going to convert that into JSON, which will give you the ability to open it like Notepad or Notepad++ um, or copy it over your Windows system or whatever you want to do. You could open it in a text editor on your bug to whatever you need to do. In order to do that, we're going to do uh, BSON dump. Um, we're going to do db, um, the greater than symbol, and then db.json, and hit enter. So you can see here, uh, 3,341 objects have been added into that actual JSON file. And at this point, you can open that JSON file um, in any notepad viewer, any uh, editor, notepad++, whatever else to pull your information. Um, for security purposes, I'm not going to open it on this thing. Um, but it does open, it does give you all the output, does give you all the information, um, and you could, at that point, rebuild your infrastructure, or if you just wanted to see what your config was set for, give you access to your config. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, hopefully this is faster than going through all the Git and everything else trying to figure this out. Um, uh, if you guys uh, liked the video or if you found it helpful, um, I just ask that you like and subscribe so I can keep making these things. All right, thanks, guys.